The discovery of package bombs in the UK and Dubai on planes that were destined right here for the United States has many now calling for the screening of all airplane cargo. For a deeper look, I want to welcome now Rick Ozzie Nelson. He's the director of the Homeland Security and Counterterrorism Program at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, CSIS, as it's otherwise known. Uh, Rick, this is uh, a threat we've known about for a very long time in, in terms of holes in uh, screening of cargo, and the issue has been you up the security procedures, you slow down business. How do you solve that right now? Well, hi, Margaret. Thanks for having me on. I mean, it is a, an issue that we have known about for a long period of time. And clearly, if we're going to uh, screen cargo, there's going to be some cost. There's going to be some costs in times of uh, how much time it's going to take to ship something. And there's going to be costs, uh, economic costs for that increased security. And there is no near term solution to get our arms around this. In fact, to have a, a widespread cargo uh, screening process that's global will take years to implement if it's even affordable. I mean, that's a deliverable here to the U.S. shores. I mean, talk to me about the prevention of the threat in the first place. I mean, there are those out there saying that um, there should be more screening of the Internet conversations, of email and the like, uh, that U.S. intelligence should be able to, to eavesdrop a bit more than they already do uh, on phone conversations and, and trying to screen these threats ahead of time. I mean, what, what are the uh, implications that you see coming out of, of this threat and the public conversation? Well, I mean, clearly information sharing is going to be key. You know, as we saw with this event, it wasn't necessarily screening that found these packages. It was very, very precise intelligence that enabled the law enforcement and the intelligence community to identify these packages and get them off of there. However, as you stated, going forward, we have some very difficult conversations and issues we're going to have to address in this country regarding how much information we want to share about um, our shipping and about our individuals and how much we're willing to pay for the additional security. And, and then you get to what's happening on the ground there in, in Yemen. Uh, the Yemeni president saying they don't want external help, at least a, a visible external help there in, in trying to track down some of the uh, terrorist uh, groups operating within their borders. What happens with the, the U.S.'s role there in helping to advise on combating what's happening in Yemen? Well, that's a very good question. I mean, Yemen is a country that's uh, incredibly unstable right now. They have uh, conflict throughout the country. They have economic problems. They're going to run out of oil here shortly. They'll run out of water very before then. Sana'a will probably be the first major city in the world to run out of water. And the solution to Yemen is not going to be a U.S.-based solution. It's going to require an international approach, particularly from our partners on the Arabian Peninsula. Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. United Arab Emirates, and Oman are going to have to take action to to ensure that Yemen remains stable. Well, there are some saying that uh, U.S. special ops should be able to operate under the CIA and sort of uh, intervene without having the explicit blessing of, uh, of the Yemenis themselves. Is that like a, a viable solution to you? Well, I mean, uh, you know, ultimately we needed to do what we need to do to protect our country within, you know, legal and, you know, and political bounds. Um, you know, ultimately we want to work with our partners and have our partners take care of their own internal security. But at the end of the day, the United States, uh, you know, government is responsible for protecting its citizens from threats ab abroad, and they need to be able to implement the activities mm -hmm. they need to to protect the citizens. Well, we'll see. Obviously, it's going to be an ongoing conversation on many fronts there. Thank you very much uh, for offering up your perspective, Rick.